I was driving on the freeway and I saw this billboard which said, money in the bank changes everything. And I thought to myself, so does cash in hand. What if I told you, you could qualify up to $8,000 in free cash from Uncle Sam? Hi, my name is Shashank Shaker. I am a mortgage broker and CEO with Arcus Lending. I'm also the author of the book, How to Buy Your First Home in Bay Area. And I have been featured in several TV and radio shows. This video is all about new and improved home buyer tax credit and how you can qualify for it. So let's get straight to the point. Who gets what? As a first time home buyer, you still qualify for up to $8,000 in credit. And now as a move up buyer, you can qualify for up to $6,500 in credit, provided you have owned and occupied a primary residence for a period of five consecutive years during the last eight years. Some of the deadlines that you need to keep in mind. All contracts need to be effect no later than April 30th, 2010, and you need to close your transaction no later than June 30th, 2010. The income cap that you should take a note of as a single taxpayer, you could be making up to $125,000. And as a married couple filing jointly, you could be making up to $225,000 to qualify for the total credit amount. You may also get partial credit for slightly higher income. However, a single taxpayer who makes more than $145,000 and married couples who make more than $245,000 do not qualify for this credit. Also note that there is a maximum purchase price which is $800,000 to qualify. Now, if you are asking the question, how do I get this? then the answer is it's as easy as one two and three let's get to step one you find yourself a lender someone like me and get pre-approved find out how much mortgage you can qualify for once you have found that out go to a step two find a realtor and with the realtor's help find a home that fits your criteria of size convenience and value Go to step three, close the transaction and get the keys to your new home. Once you have completed step one, two and three, now you're ready to claim your tax credit. And how do you do that? You file a form called 5405. You can download it from the IRS website, www.irs.gov. If you have already filed your tax returns for this year, you do not need to wait till next year to claim the credit. You can simply file an amendment to your taxes and the form is called 1040X. I always advise my clients to consult their tax preparer or CPA about this. Also, if you have the question about what can you do with this credit, the answer is anything that you want. You can use it to pay off your debt. You can save it for any day. You can save it even for your child's college tuition spend it on vacation, or do anything else that you can think of. So in closing, I would like to say that the time to buy has never been better. I just talked to you about the home buyer credit where you can get up to $8,000 in free cash. The mortgage rates are at the lowest levels in decades. They are in the 5% range. And also the property prices are heavily discounted. In some areas, they are down 20 to 30 percent in just last couple of years. But note that all three come with some kind of deadlines. The home buyer credit expires on April 30th in the sense that you need to be in contract till then. The mortgage rates won't last forever because the rates are projected to go up next year. And the property prices in some areas have already started stabilizing and even moving up a little. So if you were considering to buy a home, this could be the best time to do it. Finally, if you have any questions about this home buyer credit or any other lending related question, feel free to call me at 408-905-6261 or email me at shashank at arcuslending.com. You can also connect with me on social media sites like Facebook and Twitter. And remember to visit my blog site, lendingexpertblog.com to keep yourself updated on everything that's happening in the mortgage and real estate industry. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.